Last year, Toyota went out and promised us an EV battery that would end all EV batteries, the solid-state battery. This alleged revolution was supposed to bring ranges triple the current standard, with some vehicles being able to do over 750 miles on a single charge. However, soon after, Toyota went quiet, and we're yet to hear any news concerning the eventual release and implementation of the solid-state battery, leaving fans confused and disappointed. So let's first explain what Toyota's solid-state battery is before we proceed with why Toyota went silent. For all intents and purposes, a solid-state battery is a lithium-based battery, very similar to those found in regular EVs and hybrids. However, there is one key difference, the fact that solid-state batteries use different electrolytes altogether. You see, a lithium-ion battery uses either liquid or gel electrolytes, whereas solid-state batteries use completely solid electrolytes. On paper, liquid and gel electrolytes have practically no benefit compared to solid electrolytes, with the exception being the fact that the current industry is well adapted to them, and that there are more developed versions of them compared to solid-state batteries, which are still a very recent technological breakthrough. Apart from that, solid-state batteries tend to reign supreme compared to regular lithium-ion batteries in every way possible. They have greater energy density, making them much more potent. Just look at the range figures. A Tesla Model 3 with a long-range drivetrain can do 350 miles at best, whereas a Toyota equipped with a solid-state battery could reach up to 750 miles, which is more than double that of the Tesla. In addition, solid-state batteries are known for being much more stable in any environment and weather, which is essential for the automotive industry. As you know, range anxiety is amplified in the cold, as a lithium-ion battery, albeit better than nickel-metal hydride or NIMH, still has a lot of problems because both gel and liquid tend to react much worse than solid matter in the cold. Additionally, solid-state batteries are much safer than regular lithium-ion batteries. There is no risk of explosion or fire with them, as they cannot be ignited, nor can escaping liquid in case of an accident create short-circuiting, which could lead to fire hazards. Toyota has been very vocal with these claims in the past few years, especially in 2023, after they announced their plan to introduce heaps of new EVs, all of which were expected to be equipped with solid-state batteries eventually. As a result, we were all left disappointed after Toyota stopped updating us and hyping it up. So, let's dive into why solid-state battery technology has been shelved for now. Super problem number one. The solid-state battery has a short lifespan on-screen text, title card on-screen. First of all, Toyota encountered a problem with the solid-state battery early in its development, and they are yet to find a solution for it. You see, solid-state batteries have one crucial problem. Their projected lifespan is simply much shorter compared to regular lithium-ion batteries. For starters, solid-state batteries face much more severe electrolyte degradation, which is caused by any prolonged exposure to heat or temperature, severely shortening the battery's lifespan. In addition, Poor contact between the electrolyte and electrodes is also extremely important, as any improper contact increases resistance and significantly decreases a battery's overall performance. This requires much more care and time to be established compared to regular batteries, meaning that the production costs and time are much higher than normal. This then significantly hurts the scalability of solid-state batteries, as the manufacturing process would need to be much more complex to allow them to be truly reliable and achieve their maximum potency. In addition, even though solid-state batteries are safer than their regular lithium-ion counterparts, they are also noticeably more brittle. Solid electrolytes are much easier to crack under stress, which means that there is a big possibility of them getting damaged during repeated charging and discharging cycles, especially during heavy usage, which is a given when talking about EVs. However, all these issues could be somewhat mitigated or removed altogether, albeit with a high budget. What Toyota cannot fully fix yet is the solid-state battery's most prominent problem, dendrite formation. You see, dendrites are small structures that form on the surface of the anode during the charging process. These needle-like structures are made of lithium and occur when the lithium deposition process isn't balanced, or to be more precise, when lithium starts forming quicker in certain areas compared to others. As the charging continues, these areas start amassing lithium faster than other parts, leading them to grow larger which leads to the formation of dendrites. This is a problem because dendrites cause short circuits, as their continued growth results in them piercing through the solid electrolyte and reaching the cathode. While this won't result in a fire per se, it will rapidly degrade the battery while also making it even more brittle than it is now. 
Dendrites have been a known issue for lithium-ion batteries too, however the increased energy density of solid-state batteries has made their formation far less controllable and faster. Toyota initially thought that this process would take much less time to fix, but they have yet to find a solution that is both economical and practical. However, even if they were to find a solution to this issue, there is another problem that needs addressing. Problem number two, Toyota's EVs are not selling. You see, Toyota's BZ4X was met with a very lukewarm reception when it was released, and over the past two years, its reputation plummeted. The BZ4X has been a terrible vehicle for Toyota's first EV, as it goes against all the previously established values of the company. It's unreliable, it has terrible range, it's severely overpriced, it is very impractical, it's like Toyota intentionally made the BZ4X bad. As a result, Toyota's EV sales have been, without exaggeration, abysmal. Literally, nobody is buying them, and for good reason. Shedding this image will be extremely hard, even with the solid-state battery in place. Plus, even if they were to develop a properly capable electric vehicle with a battery like this, who's to guarantee that it would be profitable? Electric vehicle sales have started dropping rapidly recently due to their incredibly high price tags and low usability. Now sure, a solid-state battery electric vehicle would be better in terms of range and practicality. However, these vehicles would also be noticeably more expensive than regular electric vehicles, which is, to be frank, the last thing the market needs. Plus, in the past few years, many car companies, with Toyota at the helm, have been focusing on creating alternative propulsion methods such as hydrogen engines, fuel cell electric vehicles, and ammonia engines. These solutions point us toward a carbon-neutral future. And while these projects and prototypes haven't been 100% successful, they suggest that BEVs, or battery electric vehicles, might not be the future after all. What will happen to solid-state batteries? Well, that's something we aren't particularly certain about. On one hand, Toyota surely hasn't stopped developing them, they are still working hard on bypassing the aforementioned issues, and as of recently, it is expected that the first solid-state equipped EVs will appear before the year 2030. However, lithium has been met with continuous backlash, especially in Europe, due to rising protests in Serbia against lithium mining. Excavating lithium is an incredibly risky and polluting process, and its ecological benefits are hardly worth it if they come at the cost of polluting rivers and land permanently. Because of these issues, car manufacturers have started flirting with the idea of replacing lithium altogether with more ecological materials that are cheaper, far more common, and less polluting. Recently, sodium batteries have emerged as a viable alternative, offering a nearly carbon-neutral production process. China has started incentivizing the development of sodium batteries, turning the EV industry upside down. Could sodium batteries become the undeniable future of the automotive industry? To better understand this, check out this video.